America's symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. Got Mark 76 this week, 1990. Reversal by Pillman! Turns it into a DDT! Pillman! Anderson getting back to his feet! Could it be the crossbody? He leaps and nails it off the top rope! Goes for the cover! One, two, and three! Hello wrestling fans and welcome to another exciting edition of Got Mark 76. This week we start with a huge steel cage match as the Rock and Roll Express take on the fabulous Freebirds and the action is hot and heavy to start the program. We are one week away from the Great American Bash in Baltimore where the Rock and Roll Express will challenge Doom for the NWA World Tag Team Championship. This will be the final opportunity while Doom are the World Tag Team Champions. So Ricky and Robert need to make the best of the situation, but to get there, they need to get through the fabulous Freebirds in this steel cage match. The only way to win is to have both members of, of the team escape the cage. Also on today's program, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, takes on the Junkyard Dog in our main event will feature Kevin Sullivan challenging Lex Luger for the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. So a loaded program today as Garvin with a clothesline to the back of Robert Gibson and Morton climbing out of the cage turns around and realizes and hits a knee drop on Hayes and takes out Garvin at the same time. Garvin down, Hayes down. Gibson and Morton need to escape the cage. And there goes Gibson trying to make his way out. And Hayes rams the knee of Gibson into the cage using the steel cage as a weapon. Morton ran interference, but Garvin pulls down Gibson. And a beautiful leg scissors by Ricky Morton takes down Jimmy Garvin. Conspicuous by his absence is one AC Otto. But Hayes takes Morton off the top rope with an arm drag. And down goes Morton. And now Hayes, beautifully done, working the neck as Garvin works the leg of Robert Gibson. The fabulous Freebirds defeated the Rock and Roll Express. But it was more or less due to the interference of AC Otto. Big right hand by Garvin, and a clothesline from behind takes down Robert Gibson. Garvin climbing the cage, Morton trying to take, oh, and Garvin leaps over Morton to nail an elbow on Gibson, but walks right into a suplex by Ricky Morton, beautifully done by the Rock and Roll Express. Hayes now trying to climb out of the cage, Morton sees that and goes right over to Hayes, but that's gonna give Jimmy Garvin a chance to try to escape. Garvin trying to escape the cage. And Garvin, halfway over, Garvin's gonna escape. Hayes has Morton and throws him into the cage as Gibson chasing after Garvin. Gibson. Nailing Garvin, but Hayes on the other side, trying to climb out. Garvin's almost over to the floor. Gibson trying to get Garvin back in the cage. Morton going after Hayes, throws him into the ropes and then punched to the midsection. Gibson is, is trying to pull back Garvin and does. Garvin's back on the inside. And now Gibson rams the head of Garvin into the cage and down goes Garvin. Hayes and Gibson on the ropes. Hayes nailing Gibson, nails him again and down goes Gibson. Hayes trying to climb out, stopped by Morton. 
Both teams trying to escape the cage. And now Garvin going back up again, being followed by Morton. Rams Garvin's knee into the cage. It was just a couple years ago that Jimmy Garvin suffered a broken leg, so I'm sure getting your leg rammed into steel does not uh, help. As the Rock and Roll Express now in control, working over the fabulous Freebirds. And again, a lot of this is due to the non-appearance of AC Otto. He's not in this match. And the last time these two teams met, AC Otto played a huge part as Robert Gibson trying to climb out of the cage. Morton single-handedly taking care of both members of the Freebirds. And Gibson's halfway over. He's climbing over the top. Gibson about to escape, but that could leave his partner in a two-on-one disadvantage. And Hayes now climbing over the cage. Gibson falls to the floor. Gibson's out. But this match is not over. His tag team partner, Ricky Morton, has to go out too. And Hayes, Hayes is climbing. Hayes is up and over. He's climbing out of this cage. Garvin setting up Morton in the ring. Could it be a brain buster? Blocked by Morton. Kick to the midsection. Kick and a DDT by Morton takes down Garvin. Let's see a replay. There's that DDT. Hayes and Gibson are on the outside for their respective teams. That means the next man to escape the cage will win. And there goes Ricky Morton climbing the cage. Garvin laying prone on the mat. Now he's starting to move, but Morton's already halfway over. And there goes Garvin. Garvin trying to climb out of the cage. Morton's already down. He's climbing down. And the Rock and Roll Express are going to win this opening steel cage match on World Championship Wrestling. drama and intensity in this match and here are some highlights from earlier in the contest but the Rock and Roll Express with a measure of revenge against the fabulous Freebirds and the Rock and Roll Express have a lot of momentum heading into next week as they challenge Doom for the NWA World Tag Team Championship fans a great match by the Rock and Roll Express, a big victory, and they have the momentum. We will be back after this quick timeout with a Wrestling News Network great American Bass Control Center. Don't go away. Welcome to another edition of the Wrestling News Network Great American Bash Control Center. I am your host, Gordon Soley. We are just one week away from the next big pay-per-view event, the Great American Bash, live from Baltimore, Maryland, and here on the Got Mark 76 YouTube channel, the main event. The NWA World Championship will be on the line as the World Heavyweight Champion Sting will defend against Nature Boy Ric Flair. This is Ric Flair's last opportunity for the World Heavyweight Championship while Sting is the World Heavyweight Champion. The U.S. Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as the total package Lex Luger defends against Mean Mark Callis. The World Tag Team titles will be on the line as Doom defend against Ricky and Robert, the Rock and Roll Express. This will be Ricky and Robert's last opportunity while Doom are the NWA World Tag Team Champions. Just announced this week, Flying Brian Pillman will defend his newly won NWA World TV title against Nature Boy Buddy Landell. A grudge tag team match will take place as the recently reunited skyscrapers will take on Dr. Death Steve Williams and his mystery partner from Japan. We will also see the U.S. Tag Team Championship on the line as the Midnight Express defend against the Wild-Eyed Southern Boys. 
you will see the North American debut of Big Van Vader as he takes on the Z-Man. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff will be in action against Stan the Lariat Hansen. The winner of that match will get a U.S. title match in the near future. And just signed today, Rick and Scott, the Steiner brothers, will take on Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard in a match that many wrestling purists will deem a classic. All this, plus much, much more, it's the Great American Bash New Revolution, live next week here on the Gottmark 76 YouTube channel. Don't go away. We have much more World Championship Wrestling after this quick timeout. Welcome back to World Championship Wrestling as JYD with a shorter block on Ric Flair. Flair will have his opportunity at Sting next week. His last shot at the world title while Sting is champion. As JYD takes down the Nature Boy. JYD, a proud member of the Dudes with Attitudes, he and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff came to the aid of Sting when the Horsemen we're having their way in a big chop by Flair, and JYD is in trouble. We will be hearing from Ric Flair later on in the program. And Flair stomping away, but the JYD with a big right hand knocks down Flair. And now JYD setting up Nature Boy, pulling him to the center of the ring, and drops an elbow to the top of the head. And Flair now in trouble. And now the junkyard dog jiving and drops an elbow to the forehead of the Nature Boy. JYD, a legend in this business, has been all around the world. And I'm sure at some point he would like a crack at the world title as Flair goes for the pin one and a kick out at one by the JYD. And of course, at ringside in JYD's corner is one Mr. Wonderful Paul Lundorf. He will have an opportunity next week at the Great American Bash. He will be taking on Stan Hansen with the winner of that contest receiving a future U.S. title match. Speaking of the U.S. title, it will be defended tonight in our main event as Kevin Sullivan challenges the turtle package. So the fin finality of the card is not yet to be determined, as it could be Kevin Sullivan defending against Mean Mark Callis next week at the Great American Bash as JYD has flare up and drops him down. JYD now stopping on the Nature Boy. And Flair now picked up. Junkyard dog, oh, a reversal by Flair and a kick to the midsection. I think it was a low blow, referee didn't see it. And into the corner goes JYD and a big chop by Flair. And down goes the Junkyard Dog. Flair now working the leg, could be setting up for that figure four leg lock. Lines up the JYD and drops the knee across the head. Flair goes for the cover. Referee counts, one, two, and a kick out of two by the JYD. Big chop by Flair, another chop by Flair. And that seems to have woken up the JYD, a forearm to the back by Flair, and another chop. The JYD is taking those chops, another chop by the Ric Flair. Into the corner, Owen oh, Flair chops JYD into the corner, another one. And Flair belittling the JYD. And it looked like the JYD was trying to bounce back, but Flair did not give him an opportunity. Sets him up, here it comes, a spike pile driver. Flair now in total control. He's gonna get the pinfall here, referee count. Oh no, not even a one. JYD doesn't even get a one count. And JYD is still very much in this match. 
And JYD now throws Flair hard into the turnbuckle. Now JYD reaching down deep with a belly to belly suplex and down goes Flair. Mr. Wonderful cheering and showing support at ringside. JYD now stopping on Flair. JYD making somewhat of a comeback. He jives and he drops another elbow across the head of Ric Flair. Picks up Flair, but full Flair with a reversal and a knee to the head. Just about took off the head of the JYD. Counts one, two. JYD's hands on the rope at the front didn't see it. And Flair gets the pinfall. Oh, we need to get a replay of that. JYD had his hand on the bottom rope, but Flair blocked the referee. Oh, we're not going to get a replay. Are the horsemen controlling the, the cameraman now? And that man, Ric Flair, gets a shot at Sting next week, his final, while Sting is world champion. And we are going to have words with the Nature Boy, so don't go away. A Ric Flair interview coming right up next. from the Nature Boy Ric Flair. He said it was never his intention to go against Sting, but Ric Flair found himself complacent, and that's just something that Ric Flair could not do. And they made a modified plan. It was supposed to be Sting the whole time as the fourth member of the Horsemen. And it's almost as if Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard, and Arn Anderson were trying to lure Sting to become somewhat of a rule breaker here in the NWA. But the greed of Ric Flair proved to be too much. And now he has his opportunity next week at the Great American Bash. And speaking of opportunity, Kevin Sullivan has a chance to win the US title from Lex Luger here tonight. Lex Luger is scheduled to face Mean Mark Callis and defend that US title, but Kevin Sullivan can be a fly in the ointment. And if he wins tonight, he's on the danger of being counted out. Seven. And back. No, he grabs Luger. And slides back into the ring. And Sullivan now trying to make somewhat of a comeback. Now working the leg of the total package. And down goes Luger. Paulie dangerously has Mean Mark so focused right now, I don't think he cares if he faces Luger or Sullivan for the U.S. title next week. 
And I would dare say that if either of these men get hit with that devastating heart punch that we will have a new US Heavyweight Champion as Sullivan working on Luger. And an elbow to the top of the head stuns Luger in the corner. Sullivan now climbing up and firing away, but Luger shoves Sullivan aside. And a drop to hold by the total package. Luger now has Sullivan and the Boston Crab makes it to the ropes. The referee breaks the maneuver and Luger having some words with the ref. And now Luger going back to work on Sullivan's big right hand. And a beautiful maneuver by Luger takes down Sullivan. And Luger firing away. Sullivan in trouble. Luger throws Sullivan up and over the top rope. Down to the floor goes Sullivan. Luger following him out of the ring. Referee has begun another count. And Luger now back into the ring, working over a down Sullivan. And into the turnbuckle goes Sullivan. Luger runs, charges, and nails the clothesline, and down goes Sullivan. Luger goes for the cover. Will he retain? Referee counts one, two, and three. No, a kick out by Sullivan. Sullivan just barely kicked out. And Luger now staying on top. But Sullivan trying to fight back with a big left hand. Throws Luger into the turnbuckle. Runs, charges, but Luger moves out of the way. Close line, takes down Sullivan. Luger has Sullivan, picks him up. Big right hand, and here it comes. The torture rack. Luger has Sullivan in the torture rack. Will Sullivan be able to escape? Or will Luger force, and he does. He forces Sullivan to tap out. And Lex Luger is still the US Heavyweight Champion. And Lex Luger will defend that title next week against Mean Mark Callis at the Great American Bash in Baltimore. Here are some highlights from earlier in the contest but a successful U.S. title defense by the total package, Lex Luger. And there it is, that torture rack. And it's going to be a challenge for Luger to get Mean Mark in the torture rack. Mean Mark, 6'7", 300 plus pounds. And again, he needs to watch out not only for the hard punch, but also Paul E. Dangerously will be at ringside. And there's, and speaking of Mean Mark, he's making his way to the entrance. Luger doesn't see him. Luger celebrating up on the second turnbuckle. Turns around and walks right into Mean Mark. Mean Mark going to work on Luger. Trying to wear Luger down for next week. Rams him shoulder first into the post. And now, Mean Mark choking out Luger. We need to get some help out here. The referee calling for assistance, but nobody's coming down the ringside. We know that Sting is not here. Mean Mark picks up Luger, has his hand around his neck, and a big giant choke slam down to the mat. That is the precursor to the heart punch. Luger's not moving. Mean Mark having his way with Luger prior to their match next week. Mean Mark just stomping on Luger as he's trying to get back up. Luger's all but out. He already defended his U.S. title. Mean Mark picks up Luger and... Wait, here it comes! The hard punch! Oh, and he nails Luger, fans! The Great American Bash is next week! We'll see you then. Goodbye, everybody!